Okay, so that animation you just uh, saw was uh, basically described what my business idea and the model was. Uh, that was uh, created by Dr. Seeley of the IT department. I'd like to thank him very much for that. Uh, question two uh, that I'm supposed to answer is, based on your core competencies, what competitive advantage do you provide with your product or service? Um, uh, the core, core competencies are things that, dis that are distinguish me from my competitors, uh, and you know, I have uniqueness. Uh, every other sleeve gives you, you know, the mediocre protection from the heat heat of the coffee, and it doesn't protect your, your mouth or tongue at all. Whereas mine does uh, through the what, what you saw in the video uh, with that the, the changing of the colors. When it changes, uh, it's safe enough to drink where it won't burn your tongue. Uh, so that the uniqueness is definitely something uh, that gives me the competitive advantage. Uh, question three is how will you develop your product or service to work in conjunction with your competitive advantage? Uh, and again, this goes right back to uniqueness. Uh, nothing like this is on the market, which is great for me. Uh, it gives me a fresh new market share to go go and grab. Uh, I don't you know, worry about competing for 50% of the market, 25% of the market, or anything like that. Uh, my coffee sleeve uh, will, will, will blow them you know, right out of the water. Uh, it, something that could be an example of this is right now I'm in uh, Fog and Flame. Uh, it's a local coffee business downtown in downtown Bloomsburg, uh, and I ordered a, a nice coffee here. And you know, that cardboard sleeve that gives you that that protection from the heat, uh, a little bit of that protection from the heat. But you know, I could if I just got this right now and drank it, I'd burn my tongue, and I wouldn't even know how uh, how how good it would be uh, temperature wise. It, I wouldn't know if it'd be too hot or if it'd be just right. Uh, so again, uh, the competitive advantage is, is the uniqueness, uh, and th there are other sleeves out there that, like I said, they only go against the heat, they only predict that heat, um, but mine does so much more than that. Alright, so here we have question four. Um, based on your target market research, what is your unique value pr proposition to best suit your customers' uh, needs, uh, differentiating you from the competition? Uh, so again, I can't stress this enough, and this is one of the best things about my product is how unique it is. You go to Starbucks, uh, place on that right now, this cardboard sleeve, they give you these free sleeves that offer you mediocre protection from the heat and nothing for your mouth or, or tongue. Um, I'm different. I offer uh, some great protection from the heat, and I also offer the protection to your tongue and mouth, uh, so you're able to go and eat all your foods and taste them just like, like you like them. I don't have to deal with the burnt taste buds. And that's something that uh, I, you know, I do love. Um, for question number five, uh, I have here, uh, what will be your market strategy to increase uh, brand image and brand identity? Uh, and which segments uh, do you uh, plan to conduct your analysis? Um, so I want to be viewed sort of as eco-friendly. Uh, sleeves uh, I'm anticipating and I, they can be done with plastic. Um, I could make that through out of uh, recycled plastic, so I'd be eco-friendly. Uh, they can come in cardboard boxes, which could also be recycled from newspaper and things like that. So, you know, this will even reach out to another another portion of the market that you know, the people that shop for eco-friendly products only. They only shop for eco-friendly, so I can grab people from that market. I can grab people from from any market. Uh, in the segment, I uh, conduct my analysis. Um, that would be you know, people that drink hot beverages 16 and up. I have a statistic here from USA Today uh, that 84% of adults uh, drink coffee. So there's a lot, a lot of people out there uh, that do do this. Um, how do I plan to gain traction? That is question six. Uh, I believe that my product is great, and I believe that if a product is great, all it needs is a chance. Uh, you can go on social media today, and you know, by a few retweets on Twitter, 
uh, they can get the ball rolling and everybody's hyped over this new new product they saw on social media. Uh, and I see products on social media all the time that are great ideas and I never even see them on TV or magazines or anything like that. Uh, so I'd definitely love to use social media. Uh, another thing I think I could do uh, maybe include in the box of the sleeve a voucher um, for, a free, for a free copy. Uh, that way you know, so they're, they're benefiting off of uh, buying your product right then uh, with that voucher. And as well as down the line, uh, they're benefiting with the uses of being able to have uh, non burnt tongues. Uh, and question seven here, the final question. Uh, what are your assumptions and projections? Uh, what does the future have in store for your business? Uh, I'm going to be looking down at some notes I did. Uh, I do have here for some calculations, so I am sorry for, for not you know, looking into the camera, looking down at this. Uh, the, the statistics. Uh, as I previously stated, 84% of American, uh, American adults uh, drink coffee. Uh, that leaves me with an extensive market to capture. Uh, according to uh, census.gov, on the most recent census, uh, the 2010 census, uh, 234.6 million uh, people or the population in America are adults. Uh, that means uh, that 197 million of those adults drink coffee. And even if I could get 25% of those people, which I think I can go way above that. But if I can get just 25% of those people, uh, that would leave me with over 49 million sales. Uh, 40, 49 million uh, actual units uh, purchased. Um, and also the final part of the question, uh, what does the future have in store for your business? Uh, I don't see any anything in the future jeopardizing my product. Uh, we all wake up, <coughs> excuse me, we all wake up and we all have to get, uh, get ready to get to work quick. Uh, we need something to wake us up so we drink coffee. Uh, people are going to continue doing that. Uh, you see college kids drinking coffee to keep them up for studying. Uh, I don't see hot beverages uh, going away anytime soon. Um, so my product will, will be used for a very, very long time, if not for, forever. Uh, so I, I don't have any worries um, about the future of my product. Uh, so again, I thank you very much uh, for watching this video, and I do hope to uh, see you in the third round of the Husky Dog Pound here at Blue Zurich University.